Okay, I wanted to make a video on uh, first time firearms purchase. This video is not sponsored by nor endorsed by Rural King. At Rural King, uh, a lot of people, uh, their driving factor is is price. A lot of reasonable price firearms are also hard to operate. Some of the guns, uh, lesser price that, that older folks can afford for self-defense. They're also uh, hard to rack the slide. They can't pull it back. It's got a long trigger pull. These weapons are empty right now. Uh, so I have a hard time selling them a gun that, that I can in good conscience have them you know, take it home and protect yourself. It goes a step farther than that. While this seemingly smaller gun can't be very, uh, can't be uh, very uh, intimidating because it's small, it is empty. So now you've, you've bought a gun that you can rack the slide. In the heat of the moment when you're being broke into, if somebody's banging at the door, breaking glass. Okay, now you get your gun, you put the magazine in it, it still won't fire. You've not racked the chamber. Now, you've got the grandkids and maybe your husband, aunt, uncle standing here saying, you gotta do something to protect us. So I rack one in it. How did that go off? I just shot somebody. You shot somebody, plus the next round up is going to do the same thing without ever addressing the real threat. People don't understand, tell you I'm taking the round out, it's empty, magazine's out. The first thing a new gun owner wants to do is grab this cute little gun because it's not intimidating, it's not a big gun. You grab it like this. They think that's a handhold, so they grab it, rack one in it, and it goes off at whoever is in front of it because they're scared. The adrenaline factor is just off the charts. You're, you're, you're starting to get tunnel vision. You're getting uh, all kinds of wild thoughts. Everything's getting in super motion. You're trying to get the gun to go not meaning to shoot them, but you're worried about the threat. So you're going like this, trying to shoot, to get it racked. And that's what happens. They accidentally kill somebody that wasn't even part of the threat. Something I like to stretch too is, as a gun salesman at Rural King, uh, it's not our job to, to teach you gun safety. That's something you need to take a safety course, keeping your finger off trigger, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, most of the people that come in and buy a gun, they say, which by the way, this gun is empty, magazine out. They say, well, I had the training. The guy at the gun sales that sold me the gun, he picked the gun up. He showed me how to put one into the chamber and now I'm good to go. See, the finger automatically went to the trigger to hold the gun. That's not gun safety. Learning, being taught from the salesman how to put a round in the chamber. That's just the beginning. He's showing you how you could load it. That's not keeping you safe. So when you buy a pistol, get some safety training from a local law enforcement or a, a gun shop that has an indoor range.